Welcome to the channel everyone. Today working on my 2023 Polaris Ranger 1000 XP and I'm actually working on the rear today. Pretty cool video. So we're gonna go from this to this guys. So stay tuned, I'm going to go through uh, everything I installed here. I will have links in the description of the video and also the comment section, the first comment. So let's get started. So the first thing I actually did to uh, the bed was um, I put a Kemimoto uh, bed mat in. Uh, if you watched my uh, previous videos, you already saw that, but um, I just wanted to point that out. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get a spare tire mount on the bed. Uh, it's going to get the spare off the floor of the bed. Um, I went with Kemimoto. I was looking at the Rough Country one. I like the look of that one, but I think the Kem Kemimoto one is a lot more versatile. Uh, it can adapt better. So I'm going to get this unboxed and I'll show you what comes with the Kemimoto spare tire mount. So here's what's in the box. You got this little jack. It's a little a scissor jack. And this is actually going to allow you to adjust for what size tire you have. Uh, you got kind of a main frame here. It's actually got a nice little rubber piece that's going to touch the side of the bed which is nice. I believe this is a little stopper. Uh, if you don't have a spare tire on it, I think you're supposed to use this, this stopper. Uh, you got your little frame piece that is actually going to hold the tire and it's already, everything's pre-assembled. Uh, they got nuts already welded on there for 12 millimeter for the Ranger. Should be the right um, pattern. And then you've got really nice uh, quick attach plugs for it. I mean these are really nice. And then uh, you got some instructions. Uh, you get, oh this is for the jack. It's like a ratcheting uh, deal to move the jack up and down which is kind of nice. Uh, then you get a bag of hardware to put it all together. They actually send lug nuts too to mount your uh, spare on there. So got everything I need. I'm gonna start assembling this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the jack and we're going to assemble it onto this frame with the four M8 by 20 bolts. Okay, so next screw this thing down. We're going to assemble the tire, the actual tire holder piece to the jack stand like so. We're going to use these bigger bolts I believe. The M10s by 60s. Okay, so then you take the M10 by 25 bolts and install them on the top here. Okay, so next you got to take the, the lock and ride plugs 
You gotta take this top, you gotta unscrew it off. You can take this plastic washer off the top too, and you have the rest of the plug. You're gonna install that into the spot. Already got this first one installed. So then you're gonna take the jack assembly and you're gonna set it down over those lock and ride plugs. Take the washer, put the washer down over it, the plastic washer. And then you're going to thread the lock and ride plug back together. Do the same thing over here. You want this thing pretty snug because you don't want it going anywhere. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna raise this up. Be able to get my spare tire on. Gonna install the lugs. Okay, so once you get your tire on there, I adjusted it height-wise. Um, <clears throat> this is a really, really cool idea. Um, the only problem is, is there's quite a few loose parts. Um, and then the bed is just plastic here, so I, it's, it's flexing a little bit. This is a big tire. Um, this is a 29, so um, probably if you had like a 27 or 26 or a 25, um, this, this jack is gonna handle that a lot better than this 29. This is a really big tire. Um, one other thing I'm not really liking is it's kind of far away from the, from the bedside. Now I, I get it because if you look at my rear tire here, you can see how much wider it is uh, so it's, it's probably deep dished. So I understand why they did that because they got to be able to sell this for a lot of different uh, size tires. But in my case, I would like to have moved it a little bit forward. Um, I think to alleviate some of this stuff, um, I may get some, some wheel chocks and I might 
put them on each side of the tire there and I may run a strap or something around it uh, going to up here with some tie down points or something. I do have it up against the bed to try to give it a little more stability so it doesn't move but it's moving the whole it's moving the whole wall of the bed. Now that's not Kemimoto's deal. I mean this is this bed is all plastic so that's kind of on players so it is what it is. Um, I'm, I'm gonna run it and uh, hopefully it'll hold up. Like I said I might do a few tweaks to it to, to try to help stabilize it. They have some screws here that you supposedly screw into the sidewall uh, if you want a little more stability because it kind of defeats the purpose of having the lock and ride being able to take it out. So I'm not going to use the screws. It gets the, sp the spare tire kind of up and out of the way. So I guess that's, that's it for this mod. Let's keep moving on. Okay, so next uh, is the Kemimoto uh, bedside kit. I think it uh, extends the sides like 12 inches higher, 12.6 or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to get it out of the box and we'll see what's in the box. Okay, so here's what was in the box. You got two of the side kits. You've got, they got four of these, which I think are the, like the Rotopack holders, but I got my own version. I got the cheaper version, but it goes into these. You can put it anywhere that the holes will line up. Um, you got these right here that are going to hold uh, it to the, the bed. These don't look the greatest, but you can always upgrade them, and I, I might do that. You get a bag of uh, bolts, and then instructions. Oh, and then you got this crossover bar right here. That's going to go on the front to kind of support it, which is probably going to need. So I'm going to get to uh, assembling this. Okay, so first step is you're going to disassemble uh, two of these plugs they just unscrew and from the pictures show the washer stays with this piece so you're going to stick stick them in the holes Then you're going to take your, your side kit here, stick it in place, line up your holes, and install your I'm just going to snug them up so that they stay. I'm just going to snug them up so they stay in place. Okay, so then you're going to take your bar. I think you got to slide this. You got to slide that on. So you're going to do the same thing on this side. Take the rubber piece off of there, stick it in the hole. That one's a little more snug.
Now you take your side kit and remember up front here, this has got a slide in that bar. Okay, so I'm having an interference with my, my spare tire. I'm gonna have to slide it back for now. I gotta undo this. And I'm gonna have to slide this forward for now. I think once I get everything down, I, I can get it back forward again. But for now, I gotta get this in here. Okay, so next I'm going to install the, the bolts that hold the bar here together, like so. I'm having a little bit of trouble. Okay, so I had a little bit of trouble getting this threaded. So what I had to do is I run the bolt in from the bottom up to kind of clearance everything. And now it's going in all right. Guys, this thing feels rock solid. I really, really like this. This is really, really nice, actually. I'm gonna enjoy this rack, I think. Okay, so I actually got two of these. They're kind of like the Roto-Pack knockoffs. They're not nearly as expensive as the actual Roto-Packs. But I believe that's what these are. These are the Roto-Pack mounts. And it actually came with enough hardware to mount four of these up. Now you do have to buy, you gotta buy the tank and you gotta buy the holder. The thing that, that locks it on. But they have all the hardware here looks like to mount the holder onto their mounts that they have, that they gave you. So you have the ability to have four smaller tanks um, around your deal. So um, I got two of the 1.3 gallons. Um, I may get a bigger one maybe, put one bigger one on the side. One of these might become like a weed eater uh, fuel tank with mixed fuel. But anyway, I got two of them. I'm going to put them on the, uh, the driver's side because that's where I get fuel. And when I get fuel, I'll just throw some fuel in them uh, at the same time. So that's kind of the idea, whole idea of this. I'm not going on long treks where I need extra fuel. It's for lawnmower, motorcycles, uh, four wheelers, stuff like that. Okay, so this is the mount that the fuel tanks go on. And you can see this is the, this, they give you four of these in the kit. So you line up the four holes on this. They actually got four holes perfectly set for it. So you go in the, the bag of bolts and they got some Allen headed smaller bolts with the, that aren't so, um, they ain't got such a big head on them. Them are going to hold that uh, or this. Then you put a washer under it and then they got these locking nuts. So I actually thought I was going to have to like look for hardware or, or get hardware out of my own bin. But they actually send everything, just about everything you need. So okay, so we're on the, the outside of these beds and um, I'm going to install this piece here on the bedside now. They got nuts welded on, the, on this side already. So you just take the wider headed Allen bolt 
and you're going to go in from the back side and you're going to put the bolt on. There's four of them. And then um, I'm going to do that with, with both of these mounts, kind of set them. There's a little bit of adjustability of where they can go. So I'm going to adjust them how I want. And uh, yeah, I'll show you when I get them all on. Okay, so you can see I actually moved the fuel tanks on the inside, which is really what I wanted to do. Um, I couldn't really get them to fit. Right, right now, they're actually they're on the bottom of the bed, which I don't really like that. Um, the bedside really doesn't like them being on the inside. I wish they would have raised this up just a fraction if they just would have raised this bedside up just a little bit. Um, they would have fit so nice on the inside, but... Um, I think uh, that's the way I'm going to run it. When they're out here, it ain't bad. They're, they're no further out than the mirror. So it's not like they're super far out. Um, but anyway, I, I want to put my shovel out here. And that brings me to my next deal, which is these quick fist. And these are just little rubber things. It's going to grab a hold of my shovel. I'll show you. There's a hole. So basically one bolt, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'm going to put it in one of these slots here. I'll bolt one there, I'll bolt one back here, and hopefully in the next shot, you're going to see me putting the shovel on this thing. So I'll be back. Okay, so that worked out nice. Doesn't stick out real far. One issue I am having is it's up against... It is up against the deal there, but this handle is plastic. I really need to put a little bit of a spacer here. And I believe they sell spacers. But yeah, that's uh, exactly what I wanted. Actually, I could probably lower this. And I maybe could get another one on this. I put one on this row, put one on this row, maybe. If they ain't too wide on the end. Anyway, it's working out with what I got here. Really like it. So I actually uh, found a thick piece of rubber that I had and kind of trimmed it down to size. And you can see now uh, it's got room. It's, it's not sitting against the bedside. So that was a pretty simple fix. Okay, so my next deal is I got a chainsaw holder. This is a really cheap one. Um, it's, I don't know exactly what it's for. It looks like it's designed to be bolted onto square tubing. It comes with some bolts. I guess they, they pinch it on some square tubing. Um, I don't know the size of that. Um, I'll, I'll, link, I'll link everything I'm using so you can go check it out. But you just squeeze your bar between these two pieces here, like so, and you tighten it up with these. So I'm going to actually have to bolt this onto my side kit because I don't have any square tubing. And I'm going to use one of these uh, deals here to, to mark out a few holes. I think I'll go on the outside edge. And then the outside edge here. And mark some holes out so I can bolt this piece uh, to, my, to my rack. So I gotta go mark some holes and then go drill some holes. I will say this thing is thick. I mean this is a heavy duty piece of steel. I mean this is a no joke piece of steel. So I gotta get going guys so I can get this on the, on the rack here.
Okay, I got the backside on. I actually used wing nuts, quarter inch wing nuts. So I can uh, technically just kind of take this off or, or move it really quick. I might have to drill them holes out a little bigger uh, to give some allowance so I can move it around. But yeah, I got to install this piece here. And then install these. So I'll take I'll take my chainsaw, I'll stick it in there and figure out where it needs to be. And then you install you install these little jam nuts here on here. They got nylon locks on them and you install that. You tighten them just enough so when you back this off it hits those and then leaves a little room to get your saw out and then uh, Oh, there we go. It's a little, it's a little wiggly. Okay, so quick little change up on the chainsaw mount. I went from the outside, put it on the inside, and I've got it kind of setting on this right there. I feel like it gives it a little more stability. Um, I could turn it around, put it further down in the thing, but I kind of like it so it's not sticking out of the ranger so I don't catch it with something. So that's, that's where that is for now. Again, I'm just getting a start here. We'll probably tweak all this um, as we go later on. Okay, so I've added a piece of rubber um, on this tubing. It's actually, I believe, a heater hose. I slid it down the middle, I stuck it on there. I've got two zip ties on each side holding it down. Uh, the saw is actually sitting on that now. And then I've got a bungee running around here holding it and it is very firm on there so really happy uh, with that so next up is I picked up a Pro Armor uh, 26 inch uh, flat jack or something they call it but I'm gonna get it out of the box and I'll show you what well, what what it comes with Okay, so here's what's in that box. I will link this exact jack, guys. It's I guess it's kind of universal, so they send a bunch of parts. I'll go through what they have. But they got a jack. I believe that's 26 inches. Um, it's a scissor jack. Uh, this is a plate, I believe, that, uh, that goes on the back side where you mount your jack just for more stability. It comes with a lug wrench that will run this jack and it also it comes with two sockets and it's for a factory I believe that's 21 millimeter 19 millimeter 19 millimeters what it says anyway factory size uh, lugs it'll it'll do uh, it comes with this plate here and this is I guess what's going to be on the ground when you're jacking up, that's where they kind of get the stability, I guess. If you got soft ground or whatever, your jack won't tip over. Is what they're thinking, I guess. I don't know, it's a nice little piece. Um, comes with straps. I've been playing with this, so I've got the straps on there. I got three straps. You can see there's one here, one here, one here, and it, you kind of tie it around the tire. 
it goes up against the tire and you, you tie it down. There's a picture of kind of what I'm trying to do. So the, this one, the jack's up here. I guess you can put the jack in the middle. I guess where it's, like I said, it's kind of universal. Comes with a little ratchet strap here, bolts to bolt the jack on. Another strap here with a loop on it. Don't know what that's for. Another strap here, two hooks. And it's adjustable, don't know what that's for. Then it's got, um, got a few Velcro straps because they want you to tie, they want you to tie this wrench onto, you slide it in here, I think, and you tie it around your jack. I'm probably just gonna throw it in my toolbox bag. There's some bumpers in there for, I'm not exactly sure, for uh, being against something. And they also have like those little uh, quick fists. Like the same things I use for the, my shovel here. Only they're not, I don't think they're as nice. But I guess you could hold something. Um, again, they got all kinds of holes here and I guess you could hold something on this too. So, oh yeah, and they got these things here for the lock and ride plugs, like really nice tie downs, but they don't have the, they don't give any of the lock and ride plugs that lock this to the, the hole. So it doesn't do a guy really any good without having the, the, the plug anyway. So my idea with this is to get this on my spare tire it's going to stabilize this because I, cause I, just, I just don't like the way that wiggles. So I'm going, to, I'm going to use this to clamp that down a little bit and also I get a jack. Spare tire does you absolutely no good if you can't jack up your Ranger and take the tires off. So I need a jack. So that's what I got. So I'm going to kind of play with this for a while, see what I come up with and try to get this on there. Once I get it all figured out, there's no reason me sitting here showing you me struggling and trying to figure it out. I'm just going to try to figure it out, come back, show you what I do, and then uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so I feel like this is as good as I'm going to get this right now. Um, I got the strap going to the bed tie down there. The other strap, I put one of the, the things, the hooks they sent on the tie down that holds this bedside down. So one hook is going there. Uh, I've got this, I got the ratchet strap in there. I kind of figured out how to get it to work actually. And it's going around and it actually goes to the jack there right there and I didn't have to cinch it down much but I feel like that's as good as you're gonna get I mean that movement right there is actually the bedside so you're not get, you're not gonna get all the movement out of that but I'm, I'm actually a lot happier with uh, the, that Kemi, Kemimoto uh, tire mount uh, with it strapped down here so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm sure I'm going to tweak this setup. Uh, but this is kind of what I've got. This is kind of my starting point. So I've got my jack all ready if I need it. Uh, here's these little, uh, like a, these are like Polaris's quick fists. And it's got actually a nice little Velcro thing. I might use it on my bedside. I can bolt it on there to bolt something small or, or a shovel or... I guess they got a shovel with something else. They actually, they're for this. They bolt onto, onto here. The jack really, I don't think it's not supposed to go that way. It's supposed to go the other way, I think. Um, but I mean, I guess it, it's universe, it's whatever you need. It, it, it works however you need it. So right now that's where I want it. So that's where it's gonna be. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Okay, so one more thing I want to add to this setup. 
is a pair of these um, like recovery boards or I'm not sure what they call them but um, I've been stuck in the snow a few times and I think these would come in real handy for something like that and probably a few other things uh, you know a few other uses so I'm going to add a set of these to my Ranger um, I just I just drilled some holes some quarter inch holes here and I'm just going to uh, stick them on the side of my 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 rack here with some quarter inch bolts and then I'm going to use some of these uh, wing nuts and again this I, I'm probably going to improve a few of these things as I go but right now I'm just kind of getting a, a start here kind of showing you guys um, you know what you can do with a with a few of these products so I'm going to get these mounted up there show you where they go and we'll probably be done with this project so there they are mounted to the side there like again just uh, quarter inch bolts with some wing nuts they probably have a nice mount uh, for them so uh, I'll look into that but um, yeah I don't stick out too bad But I'm sure, I'm sure I'll be getting some bungees and uh, a few things maybe to tighten some of this stuff up. And like I said, maybe maybe some new mounts. But yeah, I'm I'm very happy with how all this turned out. Really happy. It, it actually turned out almost exactly the way I was thinking in my head so and it was pretty cool in my head so it, it, I'm, I'm really happy so there are um, some some very heavy-duty uh, racks out there for sale and I was I was kind of looking at them as well um, you're gonna pay a lot more than Basically everything you see, everything that I put on here, um, you're going to pay a lot more for them racks just for the rack. So this, this is a very affordable way to um, organize the bed. I will say that, guys. So, yeah, I will uh, link everything that I used, everything that... Uh, is in the video here I'll link it so you guys can go check it out if you want to do something similar or whatever um, yeah I'll have uh, I'll have pretty much everything everything that I can find so I guess that's gonna do it for me guys on this one hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you